My name is Ed Stafford and I'd like to run you through the features in the, my new Forest Mark, which is a collaboration between me and Ridgeline Clothing, originally of New Zealand. I think the first thing to note is that um, it's a smock, obviously, so it pulls on over the head, um, but it's completely waterproof. It's 100% waterproof. It has a brand new material, um, which is, I've never been a fan of Gore-Tex. It's too uh, shiny and it makes too much noise. So we've got a cotton outer layer, which is a tight knit cotton, which does actually bead really well but it's laminated to a waterproof breathable membrane below. So you get the best of both worlds. And then it has a drop layer, which is a bamboo mix. Um, bamboo being antibacterial, which means that it's good for uh, not stinking as well, but it's also got a bit of stretch in there. So it feels like a, it feels like a stretchy t-shirt actually on the inside. Um, to, it's got a extra low um, hem to the bottom, which is a New Zealand style here. Um, and when you take it on and off, it has one single side zip. A lot, of, um, a lot of smocks have two zips here. What I found is when you put them on, the back portion gets caught up around your shoulder blades. It's actually impossible to pull it down. So you actually only really need one zip to get the jacket comfortably on and off, um, which means that you've got less bulk to the jacket and you've only got the amount of zip that's necessary. If you want to ventilate the armpits, it's a two-way zip that also undoes there. And on this side, we have a smaller zip that obviously um, you can ventilate the armpits here. The jacket has a hood which folds into the, um, the collar of the jacket. Now, in the past, some Ridgeline jackets have had detachable hoods. I've always found that the problem with the detachable hood is you detach it, you leave it at home during the summer months, and then when it comes to um, needing the hood, you've, um, you've left it at home. So it's not a detachable one. It's, uh, but it's a fully waterproof hood um, with a, a stiffened wire peak so that it's very usable um, and 100% uh, waterproof. You've got a utility pocket with poppers on the, the left breast here for a compass or a whistle or something like that. And you've got a, a cavernous um, map pocket with a waterproof zip on the right hand chest. A lot of smocks have a, uh, a chest, a lateral chest zip here. And what I've done is I've dropped this marsupial pocket down to be in a far more accessible space. And that is now um, here. So if you can imagine me trying to get my hand into the bottom of the pocket, which has got a zip up here, it wouldn't work. And so we've, we've dropped that down, which enables you to have a conventional pocket and a map pocket, but also you've got something here. So from a bushcraft perspective, this is amazing for collecting tinder or um, materials and just stuffing it all in. But also it, um, it's got a couple of D-rings here. So if you want to uh, keep your pen knife on, a, on a, a piece of string and actually have it very accessible but not hanging off you and dangling around so it gets caught on stuff you can you can have it there but tuck it away by closing the zip which is again a waterproof zip um, the whole jacket does indeed um, pack into this uh, marsupial pocket if you were to want to do that so that you could use it as a little camp pillow um, at night that'd be quite nice we've got adjustable cuffs um, but they all are designed so that you can roll them up because often you know in a in a forest setting you're wanting to do things and you don't want your uh, sleeves to get in the way and I think it's really important to have that ability to push your sleeves up. Lastly we've got two hand warmer pockets deliberately um, located so that your hands rest in them nice and gradually. There's nothing worse than having hand warmer pockets where your hands are just just reaching down by your knees. Um, your hands rest quite, quite nicely and then they've got a very tactile material on the inside. So if you're going to the desert, this jacket's not for you. It's 100% waterproof. It's designed for temperate environments. It is designed for use all day round. It's not a conventional shell in the fact that it feels far more like a, uh, a jacket than a shell. Uh, so although you have got the properties of a waterproof shell, because of this drop lining, because of the stretch in here, it's a very comfortable jacket to wear all day round. I'm super proud of it. It's a collaboration with Ridgeline Clothing. It's the Ed Stafford Forest Smock.